In this septenary, the Arbitel describes a second type of magic that does not involve summoning the Olympic spirits. It involves using a magical symbol that it calls the Seal of Secrets. You're supposed to draw a circle within a square. If you were to label the center part A, then you could label the four corners B, C, D, and E. That's dividing both the square and the circle into four sections. Within each section of the circle, you divide that section into seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then each of those sections you divide into four. One, two, three, four. And you do that all the way around. What this means is that we have 28 sections, and each of those 28 sections are further divided into four, resulting in a total of 112 sections to complete the circle. Now, the final circle does not need the let- the letters A, B, C, D, and E, like a lot of people believe they do. Those were just labels of geometry to ensure the correct diagram orientation. If you choose to keep them, that's fine. Some people will put an A, a B, a C, a D, and an E. I find that a bit disorienting and a little confusing personally. To start with the eastern part of the circle, this center section represents what it calls the prince. And each of the sections on either side represent the nobles that work under him. Within each of these, there are four sub-angels that are helping each of the prince and the nobles. And you'll see that each section has its own prince, its own nobles, and its own helper angels. Now, it's important to recognize that the center sections here are not actually necessary, but they're sort of a help to remind us that there are four main sections and seven subsections within each, and that these divisions in the center are the helping angels. So it's implying that the east is air, the south is water, the west is fire, and the north is earth. And this particular configuration of the elements to the directions are standard in several Mediterranean magical traditions. In the modern traditions, usually the south and the west are transposed so that the south represents fire and the west represents water. The angels summoned from the circle are associated with the angels mentioned in the Revelation of John. They possess powers related to famine, war, pestilence, and the destruction of cities like Sodom and Gomorrah, but they also serve as guardians over nations and individuals while imparting knowledge in various subjects, including math, philosophy, civics, and other things similar to the Olympics. The circle is used similarly to the Olympic seals. It's very simple. You focus on a specific corner of the seal, invoking the angel associated with that corner, such as East for Wisdom. The Arbitel emphasizes that faith is crucial for the working with any spirit or angel, but cautions against using them for evil desires, as that brings danger. Conventional names for the angels are not used. Instead, you invoke the angel associated with your specific need or desire. For instance, you might call upon the angel of money, the angel of marriage, the angel of heart health, and so on. To work the magic, what we tend to do is we face the direction that is the ruler of our desire, and then we orient the seal so that that direction is facing up. So for me, if I was facing east, I could have it like this, but if I was facing the south, I would turn it this way. If I was facing the west, I would turn it that way, etc. Gaze on the quadrant ruling your desire and sincerely call upon the angel. State your need or question, and then listen intently. Remember that when working with angels, there's actually no need for a license to depart as there is with the Olympic spirits. It's a very simple yet very powerful way of getting angelic assistance in whatever it is that you desire. The Eastern Quadrant is for the major secrets. The medium secrets are governed by the southern quadrant, which is water in this particular system, and the west and the north govern the minor secrets, as explained in the septenary. If you wanted to, you could make your own, like I've done here. Absolutely fine to do that. 
but it's not necessary. You can just use the one that's included in your lesson and print it out and use that. Just keep it in a space where it's away from prying eyes and it doesn't get destroyed too easily, like maybe a folder or an envelope, and use it whenever you desire to work with these angels. Now, the septenaries don't give any timing conventions. Uh, The only timing conventions they give is when working with the Olympic spirits on certain days of the week, but it doesn't include such restrictions when working with this particular diagram. I hope that's helpful. Thank you so much. Blessed be. Thank you.